about being a judge is the opportunity that I'm able to give other people, particularly William, female lawyers. And so my message to female lawyers everywhere is do not hold yourself back. Don't limit yourself. Um, if there is an area of law that you want to go and practice in, but you don't know anybody in that area, find somebody to be a mentor. Find a way that you can get into that particular industry because if you are led to do that, then you should absolutely follow your dreams and follow that vision. And one of the things that we have to do is we have to help each other. And so anything that I can do from my position to, uh, to get women into more uh, courtrooms, to get women on more benches, I'm happy to do it because when we help each other, then we end up being helped. And so I'm blessed to be a blessing. It is my pleasure and my honor um, to help anyone that needs that help. If you need um, anything at all, um, I am at County Court of Law Number 4 in Fort Bend County, and I'm always willing to help. Empowering women is just, um, it is symbolic of what we've always done. And one of the things that I think is the most important thing that women have to remember is that we have power in numbers and we have power in elections. And so any woman that is gonna take the time to educate themselves about who they're voting for and why they're voting is my kind of voter. Um, and so I am always out there to help and to serve. And that's what I love. Then utilize every source. Social media is just taking off right now and you really can't ever have too many connections or too, many, too big of a network. What's your story? Tell us what you're doing here and uh, how, what message do you have for women? Um, I am a published author of six books. I also have a lifestyle book called The Split with Sarah that talks about positivity, self-care, and all things curly hair. I, I'm a family physician, and so my practice is in Beaumont, and I like to you know, network with more people here in Houston. I'm currently running a medical spa, so I'm not doing my family medicine, but switch gears, and I'm doing medical spa treatment. So everybody here is amazing and um, it's really nice to see so many professional females and you know uh, everybody mixing together and supporting each other. So I think it's a great platform and I'm very really excited to be here. Well, my name is Eugene Howard. I am running for Congress, Texas 22, and I'm thank you. I am here uh, because I believe in women's empowerment. I believe in women's economic freedom. I believe in women's professionalism. And as a girl dad, I believe women can accomplish any goal that they set out to. So uh, that's one of my passions to why I would support any organization that promotes growth, confidence, and, and goodwill for women and all people. And that's what this uh, Houston Professional Women Organization and I'm glad to be here. Hi, my name is Candice Joseph. I am the campaign manager for Deidre Gilbert. She's running for governor of Texas. I'm also a local Houstonian and business owner and radio show personality. You know, the Houston Professional Women's Organization is one that everyone should be a part of. They do great work in the community and they really build a connection. You know, tonight here at HUMFM, it's a great scene, great energy, great people, and great connections. All I have to say is, I'm ready to party. How about you? It was a very successful program. The purpose of the program was to bring common businesses together under one platform. The Houston Professional Women Organization, Amber Jamshed, her team, in collaboration with 103.5. So it was not only about diversity, culture, but most important thing was uh, everyone, small business, big business, chota business, bada business, they're all coming together and supporting each other and exchanging uh, ideas, creativity to bring, uh, you know, the businesses uh, in a larger scale, success on Kiho or Ek Dusri Ki Pichan also. So thank you very much. But I'm very much into women empowerment, uh, especially for our timid women in our community. And I work with many non-profit organizations and my goal is always to find the women that are there in the back and they don't have a voice. So I really feel that women that are empowered should not just hang around with the women that are already empowered, but look at the women that are behind the closed doors, the curtains, or in the back that need a voice and to help them achieve their goals in life. I would love to utilize my platform to promote love, unity, tolerance, peace, and assist.
analysis with humanity globally, regardless. First of all, I would like to uh, thank Rehan for putting up this together and giving us that opportunity that we can be again together here for this business mixture. All the professionals were really, really happy. They enjoyed the food. They enjoyed exchanging their business card and they are really happy to expand their network. So this was the vision. Thank you so much. Radio. I will be the next governor of the state of Texas.